Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I'm having a fantastic day and it just started. I'm in a good mood. We're going to watch the mouse, which is one of my favorite tanks, even though it's not like the best, but it has a really cool... What is that? Let's, let's take a new screenshot, whatever that is. <laughs> Are you guys in a good mood? I have come to a realization, my friends. I've come to a realization that uh, I am satisfied and okay. Look, turn your turret. <laughs> when things are going well, things are going well. You see that? I didn't know it was going to that. It's beautiful. You can choose to be happy or you can choose to be uh, not happy. And uh, oh, is this going to be a philosophical discussion? I was going to... the. The video is about the mouse, but uh, yeah, I just, uh, I'm in a good mood, so I thought I'd share it. And let, me, uh, let me ask you guys. Are you guys, um, are you guys uh, in a good mood? Are you happy? Or are you just going through the drudgery of life? Just, just what's the word? Uh, uh, when you're not we're dreading every waking minute. Oh, God, another day starting. <laughs> Are you following your dreams? Huh? Climb every mountain, ford every stream, follow every rainbow until you find your dream. Are, have you guys found your dream? It's an honest question, guys. It's an honest question. And I, if this guy's playing the mouse, he's probably. Uh, at peace with himself and he's found his dream <laughs> his dream is to play an underwhelming uh, hunk of junk in a video game and it, that could be as good as it gets uh, if you guys are dedicated um, world of tanks players and it brings you joy that is fantastic if uh, you're doing a nine to five job where you're you know the drudgery of the job just drives you insane but you have to pay your bills uh, you know maybe that's as good as it gets But what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Is uh, in uh, I have this. Uh, let me just tell you about myself because I I have I'm at peace with uh, the situation of of uh, the circle of life and how things are progressing because uh, uh, I've come to the determination that uh, I am typically. Uh, you guys may be uh, surprised to to hear this because I'm going to be honest with you I, I, I believe that typically I am a um, uh, an angry person that dislikes a lot of things I know I know that uh, perhaps you guys would disagree with that because you know? <laughs> look at look at me now laughing cheering okay right? having uh, having a laugh and stuff I, I'm constantly telling jokes but uh, the, but the fact is I, I hate like almost everything I hate this game I don't particularly enjoy making videos <clears throat> but 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 it doesn't really bother me <laughs> you know I play the mouse and I miss a shot like that I hate it I have to like watch this unfold the the, the ridiculous orange this is the Muppet shooting HE missing the grill this stuff is all infuriating and I, you know of course I hate it you probably hate it if you were in this but so what I'm okay you guys are thinking close what are you talking about this is not making any sense it makes complete sense and um, the point is I, I've reached the realization that uh, I dislike uh, and am angry about a lot of things but it's okay because I, it, I don't mind being, uh, not, I, I don't mind disliking things and, um, and getting angry about them. In fact, getting angry about the things I dislike, I enjoy. So I'm, I'm a, like it's a dichotomy. It's a conundrum. Um, I dislike things and get angry about them, but that makes me happy. 
So I can I, I like to rant and uh, uh, point out the the stupidities and ridiculousness and the the sea of BS that we swim in day after day after day. Not just in this video game, but in life. If you watch some of my uh, other videos on my uh, other POV channel and some of the stuff I talk about, the the crap that we have to endure uh, is just excruciating and uh, any sane person would would hate it <clears throat> and just and I, of course, I hate it but uh, but you know I don't mind I'm happy that I can get angry about it and uh, the the process of getting angry about it and ranting about it uh, I enjoy <laughs> hence I laugh and kid I, I kid I kid So, uh, guys, <laughs> I'm not—I'm not just being silly. Uh, this is a—this is an important conundrum that many people face. Uh, like, well, are you watching what I'm watching? Uh, it's excruciating. Right? Uh, what would you do in this situation? Would you uninstall? Of course, uh, anyone that uh, is in, involved in this situation would hate it. For me, if I uh, would have to endure this particular situation. I would, uh, I would hate it, but I would be happy um, being angry about it and featuring it. Oh, God, hey guys, the gunner's dead. We, we didn't penetrate them. We fixed the track. Defeat. Now, what we witnessed was a complete and utter total shit show of a defeat that uh, uh, potentially would make a lot of people angry and rage. Of course, it was disgusting and horrible. Uh, it's disgusting and horrible, but it's okay. I enjoyed uh, reflecting upon it and uh, ranting about it. I'm happy about it. Look, look, he finished on top. He did over 5,000 damage. He uh, had a team of clueless uh, simpletons and... Um, he lost a shit ton of credits, and he does this for fun, uh, but he bounced 16,220 damage, which is hilarious. So guys, guys, before you dis... So guys, guys, before you dismiss everything you've heard in that uh, first uh, video, let's examine what I said. And this is the key that unlocks happiness, okay? Uh, there is nothing wrong with admitting that you dislike something, or, or, or that you, something makes you angry. You, as long as you own that and live with that and acknowledge that fact, it, it leads to unlocking happiness. I can happily dislike something. The, the process of disliking something that makes me angry, in fact, creates happiness. <laughs> right? <laughs> And, and if, you, if you examine it even further, if you kind of try and flip that around a little bit, you have to start trying to understand, well, what is it in life that does make people uh, happier? What, what is this uh, whole thing about happiness? Uh, have you pursued your dreams? Or are you locked in the drudgery of day-to-day -day, uh, bill paying and, and keeping up with the visa uh, payments? Uh, do you think it's impossible to follow your dreams? Do you think you're... Uh, you're forced by the way society works to live a life of drudgery? Well, what's the answer? You must follow your dreams. Even if your dream is to dislike something. <laughs> to, not, to not enjoy certain things. That's my dream. <laughs> is to publicly not enjoy things dislike some things and share them in a comedic way that perhaps increases the enjoyment of the uh, of the viewer just an inkling makes the viewer just a, a, a tiny little bit more uh, happy after viewing my uh, uh, my process of uh, dilemma uh, dichotomy Guys, let's say let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, change it here a little bit. Let's say you love. This is one of my uh, regrets in life. Okay, uh, I was a musician uh, from an early age. 
probably 10 years old, started playing the guitar uh, and played through high school and into university and uh, you know got pretty good and was in a band and we played and we it was probably um, kind of the the mo one of the most enjoyable uh, things that I remember in my life was uh, you know, jamming with the boys and uh, we, we weren't uh, I don't know we weren't that great but we were getting better and better and better we were just uh, uh, four guys that uh, that that played in a band and uh, we got some gigs and we played in the university and we played at some places and stuff and as we've progressed through school we kind of all uh, all but one <laughs> he's in jail <laughs> we'll leave him out of the uh, of the conversation but we kind of got to the point where uh, the decision had to be made you know well, you get to the well, w which direction do you go in life and um, I went the direction of making money uh, with my university degree. Got a, a, a job, a, a high-paying job in a in a corporation. Right, had to move across the country to to work for this this company. Little did I know that uh, I I would succeed in my goal of making money uh, at this company. But uh, w what also would happen would would be that I hated the job. <laughs> To the point when I realized that my presence at this company in no way would improve the uh, the work environment or, or or improve the situation for anyone else that w would work there, and anything I did for this company would not improve their profitability because they were all uh, uh, the people that ran the company were, were clueless, utter morons with no people skills. Fam famous quote from my boss was uh, the manager. He says, uh, 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 "There's nothing wrong with uh, being a manager. Is that the worst thing about managing is is the people. The money's good, but the people." So, anyways, it was uh, <laughs> so. I decided to own the fact that I hated it and uh, uh, change my behavior. So that I would, uh, you know, flip flip it around. I hated it, so I decided uh, I wouldn't do any more work. I would just uh, not participate. I would do stuff that would make me uh, enjoy my time there, rather than not uh, not like it. And uh, what made me enjoy my time was to kind of uh, make jokes and be a clown and uh, involve myself in situations that would make me laugh, like pretending that I was working. Right. How many days could I do nothing in a row before they realized it and fired me? And I had strategies, right? I had strategies like I could uh, uh, come up with a, like a clipboard like this. And I would do this. Let's say you're my boss, right? You're my boss in the corner office. I would do this. Jeez. I would I would walk by like that, staring at some. Uh, they had the orange folders and the blue folders, or the yellow folders and the blue folders, with different stupid things in them. I I would walk by and do that, and make sure I. You know, oh crap! Turn around and and my boss would look up and observe this and think, ooh. That Kellerman, he's uh, he's really, he's going for it. He's gonna, he's on to something, right? He's gonna fix something that, something's not working. <laughs> then I'd leave, <laughs> go for coffee. Anyways, long story. You have probably heard this story. Maybe I should do a more detailed video. But after three and a half years, uh, they caught on to it, and um, and they fired me, which then led to a series of circumstances i had more time and i was playing games and put out some videos of, i i accidentally became a youtube personality so now i'm doing something i enjoy <laughs> i know i told you i don't enjoy it i, I mean i hate uh, watching some of the, the the ridiculousness but i'm i'm content with that it makes me happy because <laughs> i can admit that this is a shit show see <laughs> 
Now, the question is, well, what I was getting at is, the, the, is there regret in your life? Like for me, if I had to go back um, to that fork in the road where maybe I would have said, well, screw going to work for a company and making money. Let's pursue this uh, music stuff because we're, I'm having fun in the band. And maybe one or two of the guys would have said, no, you know, the, well, the one guy went to jail and the other guy joined the military. <laughs> but maybe uh, got together with some uh, different people that were more, more serious about the music and uh, got into the arts more. And, you know, maybe, maybe I would have been, uh, instead of you watching uh, a video, you'd be watching uh, uh, the baby. You'd be watching a baby do a video on World of Tanks. And then in the evening, you would be going to the concert where I would be uh, in the band playing with, uh, uh, what's her name? That uh, the woman that's doing the uh, the tour now, uh, Taylor Swift. You know, I'd be the the lead guitarist in that band. Perhaps I would be uh, having more fun doing that. You know, maybe that would have been a, a more enjoyable, more fulfilling uh, life, pursuing a dream. You can look at it that way, right? And then that... Uh, Football player would never have been able to latch on to Taylor Swift because, you know, she would come on with it, right? She wouldn't have been able to resist. <clears throat> but you can't look at it that way. You can't say, well, I have regret. I should have done that. Because at the time and the circumstances, the decisions were made. So you have to own the decisions and be happy. Um, so in a way... Uh, life has come full circle and now I'm uh, pursuing my dream of uh, being a clown uh, making people laugh in uh, kind of an artistic way it just took a little longer there was a detour now I know how both halves live I know what the, uh, the, the white collar tie wearing office dwelling troll people the, 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 the slip my wrists to, to ever go back there I know what their life is like, and I know what this life is like. And throughout the, the whole period, um, you, you can be happy. Like for, for example, those three and a half years where I was doing nothing at work were probably the, one of three and a half of the most entertaining years uh, I had. It was hilarious. And I had a couple of buddies that kind of um, uh, also <laughs> were of similar similar mind but you have to <coughs> you have to decide at the time what's right for you and you may be the type of person that yes you must uh, follow your dream those are the people that are driven right the 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 actor that uh, uh, that does theater and, and just loves it and he's growing up in uh, Michigan and um, and his dad wants him to be a lawyer and he's going through but he can't do it he can't do it and he he drops out and he moves to california and he you know he goes to where he can pursue his dream and next thing you know he's doing um he's that guy in that uh, in the show what's what's the one castaway that was tom hanks I don't know if he grew up in Michigan, but uh, he, you know, he dropped out and pursued whatever he wanted to pursue because he was driven. He had to. And pursuing what he wanted to do, even without uh, being highly educated, uh, led to him enjoying. Of course, he made a fortune, right? But there's for every Tom Hanks, there's like 500 regular losers that do the same thing and never uh, amount to anything. But maybe, maybe the, their whole process of pursuing their dream uh, it means that they're living like honestly in their head pursuing what they want of course they're living in a shitty apartment uh, and they can't pay their rent so there's three or four of them sharing a, a, a room or they're you know transit they're sleeping on their friends more successful business type people their couches and uh, <clears throat> they never really own very much because uh they never make too much money, you know, starving artist type of thing, right? But the, they all get together and they have a great time at coffee shops. And, uh, you know, they probably laugh at uh, uh, stuff that they perambulate about, right? Something like that. 
Actually, actually, most of them are losers. Most of them are losers, except for a few that succeed. But uh, the point is, what's the point? Uh, the, the point is, the point is, you have to be at peace with yourself on the decisions you make and the path you take. So I ask you, how many of you are at peace with the paths you've chosen? And I can put up my hand and say, I'm completely at peace with my path of being a, uh, you know, a, kind of in the basement, making videos about a stupid game, occasionally some POV videos where I talk about uh, some uh, uh, something more important that I kind of ridicule and make fun of because, uh, you know, I, I dislike something. So I'm going to make a video about that because I dislike that and I rant about it. And the process uh, brings me joy, makes me laugh. So the fact that I dislike something has brought me happiness as I can vent it and spew it into the airwaves so you guys can uh, <coughs> can hear it. Right? And what do you want me to do? Walk down the street <coughs> and just rant into the air? I, you know, people who think I'm nuts, they would be correct. I am nuts. But uh, I've uh, smartly, I've figured out that rather than just walk down the street and blurt it into the air, I can uh, uh, blurt it into the, you know, into the microphone here and someone will uh, listen to it and perhaps it'll bring you joy. Right? See what I'm saying? I'm spreading joy is what I'm doing. I am a spreader of joy. I'm an angry... Uh, uh, I'm an angry old man that dislikes a lot of things that spreads joy is the path that, that that's the correct path for me. Leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know if your path is proceeding in the direction you thought. Uh, and what, what are you? If I am an angry old man that dislikes a lot of things that spreads joy, what are you? Let me know in the comment sections what you are. Who are you? Who, 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 who? I really want to know.